da, 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 hey, da, knock da, it off. Da, what is da, this? Get da, this da, nonsense da, da, off the screen. Da, da, Concentrate da, on what you're da, doing da, da, and be da, quiet. Da, da. Focus. Okay, okay. What do I do next? You need to halt our relative velocity. Do you remember how to do that? Something about burning old toast? A retrograde burn, yes. We're getting close. Perform your burn, then realign. Okay, not bad. Piece of cake. I thought we were talking toast. Never mind. Anyway, now that we've rematched its speed, you just need to close the distance with another burn. Uh, like this. Uh, yep. Yeah. Repeat until it's within 20 metres. What happens at 20 metres? One of us goes out and takes a look. It doesn't have to docking port, it's too small. You'll, we'll have to spacewalk. Who do you think made it? Do you think it was aliens? It's right there on the screen. Does it look alien to you? Huh, I suppose not. Damn. So which one of us is checking it out? Are you serious? My arm is broken! So... So you're the one going! Alrighty. The nanomarkers on the materials don't match those on the ship. Hmm. That's interesting. Looks like we aren't the only people to visit this system. Are you getting all of this? Yeah, it looks like it was used as a data drop for traffic through the system. And it's protected by some kind of security system. I don't think we can access the files. Oh. Well, we might be able to piggyback on its signal. It looks like it was well shielded against the radiation in the system. Some kind of filter. I might be able to reverse engineer it to boost our sensors and communications. Uh, I've spliced in the signal relay. Are you picking it up? Uh, I see it. Computer, are we picking up the relay? R, R, negative, negative. We have a reactor leak here. R, now. Give us a few minutes to lock it down. R, large leak, very dangerous. What? Wait, I think I missed one of the connections. There we go. Computer, are we online? The force is strong with this one. What? What does that mean? That's good. You've taken your first step into a larger world. Capac, have you been messing with the language systems again? We had some time on the trip. I figured I'd take another crack at it. I haven't had much luck. Well, ugh. it looks like we have what we need anyway. Get back in here. Can do. Hey, Steve. Staying busy, I hope. Keep it real. Computer, how long is it going to take to process all of this data? It's the ship that made the castle run in less than 12 parsecs. A parsec is the distance at which one astronomical unit subtends an angle of one arc second. It's equal to about 3.26 light years. Can you change it back, please? Well... What now? The thing is... Yes... Last time, with the IKEA settings, I left the yes no confirmation dialog box open. I just clicked no to switch it back. And? It was stealing window focus, so I had to close it when I wanted to draw a picture of me as a space knight. So? So all the menus are displaying in the new language, and now I can't figure out which is the right menu. Ah. Uh, computer, please revert to the previous language setting. R, we had a slight weapons malfunction, but R, everything's perfectly alright now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Not particularly happy, I must say. I am fluent in over six million forms of communication and can readily- Talk in complete gibberish. Yes, we know. Forget it. My ribs are killing me. I'm going to go take some of the painkillers out of the meg kit and try and get some sleep. Wake me up when the computer finishes processing everything. Sure, I'll hold down the fort. I wonder if there are any holy grails around here. Psst, Steve. Hey, Steve. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. Come on, Splitsy is taking a nap. That means you can hang out on the bridge with me. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think? You said it, buddy. What of you? Just think about how many new friends you can make down there on the planet. Yeah, it does get lonely out here. 
That's why friends have to stick together. Oh, he's not that bad once you get to know him. He just takes everything a bit too seriously. I promise I'll introduce you when the time is right. He's a little delicate at the moment. He had some kind of accident. He's sleeping it off right now. Actually, it feels a little numb, but the pain's not so bad now. How about the ribs? Do you need some more barbecue sauce? Uh-huh, uh, very funny. How's the computer handling the data? That's no moon, it's a space station. So, no luck with the language settings then. Ugh. It finished processing a little while ago, I think. I figured you could use to sleep, so I didn't want to wake you. <sighs> Sounds like you could use a rest too. Oh yeah, we've been real busy up here. We ran a few sensor sweeps over the planet. Terrestrial, a lot of dust. The dust storms are actually obscuring the surface from our scanners. It looks habitable though, barely. Wait, we? There's no I in team, Slitzy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Computer, bring the sensor data up on the display. An analysis of the plans provided by Princess Leia has demonstrated a weakness in the battle station. Hmm. This looks like it could work. There is too much interference in this system for standard sensors to cut through. But if we physically modify the sensors with a bandpass filter and computer processing can cut down on unwanted harmonics, we might get a two or three hundred percent increase in signal reception. In my experience, there is no such thing as luck. Capac, I'm going to need you to go up top and make the modifications to the sensors. Sure. Where's my drill? I'll sort out those vomits. Um, maybe you should get some sleep first. Steve, have you seen my welder? You hit it on the head, buddy. Never mind, I found it. Spitzy wants me to do something with the sensors? Hmm, that's a great idea. So, what's the point of all this anyway? Shouldn't we just land on the planet? There could be a drive through down there. If we can cut through the interference, we might have a shot at figuring out what happened to our ship. And why we're out here. 
I'm pretty sure we're here to introduce green space babes to the Earth concept of love. I'm pretty sure you are out there to make my modifications to the sensors. Computer, how's our progress? You know, I did feel something. I could almost see the remote. Okay, it sounds like it's working. Maybe. Um, put the new sensor data up on screen. I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. Plot the locations of the ship, the asteroid base, and the beacon. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. Just do it! You're lucky. You know that. You don't need a spacesuit or anything. You don't need oxygen. You can just lay back and relax. If I took off my helmet, I'd instantly freeze, and my eyeballs would pop out, my innards would explode out of my mouth, and my lunch would be atomized across half of this planet. It's true. Human life is so fragile. Any little thing could send us spiraling towards the cold, skeletal grasp of death. But you're probably billions of years old, to things you must have seen. I know, I know, you were stuck in that asteroid, but still. I don't know. We're a long way from Earth, and I'm not sure I've ever even been there. We should probably head back in. Finally! Oh, I think we've got something! You found a way for the replicator to create aerosol cheese. What? No, just look. Computer, display signal triangulation. Tell Jada that I've got his money. Now that we can cut through the bulk of the interference. I've established a sensor link with the asteroid and the beacon. You know, some of my favourite foods are triangles. Comparing the sensor data has revealed a repeating signal in the outer system. I can't make much of the sensor data, but it's definitely artificial. And it looks big. Computer, any idea what it is? She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. Am I detecting some kind of familiarity in that statement? Travelling through hyperspace ain't like dusting crops, boy. Great. We have to check it out. Sure. Sounds like fun. Computer, pot us a course out. Capac? Capac? Capac, pay attention! Do you think you can handle taking us out? I'm starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Can do. Gentlemen! Prepare your engines! Huh. What is this doing here? Oh, Kovac leaving crap all over the ship. What is he doing?